Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are watching Gen V episode 7. Last episode, I think, was one of my favorite episodes. Yeah, well, it was definitely one of the most emotional episodes we've had in the season so far. Yeah, for sure. We pretty much got to see everyone's secrets, yeah. their pains, a lot of the things they've hidden from the world and in many cases themselves through Kate's uh, her memory. Power. Yeah, her memory reality that she created. Everyone's memories were seeping into it. And we you know we essentially we saw that Andre was cheating on Luke well before. And Kate was he cheating died. on Luke. Yeah. <laughs> and Jordan, you know, was sort of prepared to turn a blind eye on things as long as it moved them up in their position and they felt like they were accepted. Obviously, you know, showing they had very low self-esteem and Marie's was probably the most genuine. Hers was just genuinely what we knew, which was that, you know, her power couldn't control it and she yeah. fucked up and she fears what her sister thinks of her. I just find it so sad, like, especially from that episode. It's like your parents, now that we know, like, from the boys that it was the parents who were injecting their kids and things like that just for a bit of dosh. Yeah. And then these are the experiences of these kids, like... Horrendous. It's horrendous. Yeah, it's it makes me feel so sad. Yeah, it's a terrible science experiment gone wrong. And then it gets even worse yeah. where you see kids that are in the woods under, ugh, I don't want to say the name, but Shetty's control. Ugh. And they concentrated the dose of the virus to the degree where it killed the soup. And rather than, at least Dr. Cardosa was actually, he was actually horrified. Like, what yeah. have we done? Whereas Shetty was like perfect, now can we make it contagious? Like what? That is disgusting. Oh. What the fuck? Like, we, we're going to have to see it become contagious. Like you just know. You yeah. just know. And you want them to get there just before, but it's never going to happen, is it? Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know how this season is going to end because I know there's a second season. But I'll, I'll, I would be very happy for someone, I don't know, even like Homelander to, to rock up and just Ooh. pop Shetty's head in his, ha in, in the, his hands. Like... Normally, I'll really root for Homelander. Yeah. But in this scenario, dude, honestly, I, I think I hate Shetty more. Because this can affect Homelander, essentially. I wonder if it... Yeah, I wonder if it can, because I wonder how enhanced his cells are mm. on the inside. But it makes sense that it would. Now, I will clear my name a little bit. I have yeah. been catching up on some older comments. And I will give Pudgy credit. You were correct. I didn't... Uh, I don't know. I just didn't read the show that way at all. I was more invested on elements of it. But you were more correct that I was looking at it more on, on this layer of superheroes and their abilities. But the subliminal messages, I guess, the show was going for was about things like bulimia and self-harm. And, you know, just covering different issues in each superhero with their powers. And, yeah. So, anyway, I just reading those. I thought I'd acknowledge. So, Spartan here, Pudgy, this depth. I mean, it's typical. Yeah, so my depth's higher than yours. You you rarely go yes. you rarely go lower. Usually you go higher. No, when you're speaking about depth, your surface level, I'm deep. I still doesn't. I don't think anyone uses that reference to go lower. Like you might be like here, and I'm I go this deep. Like you, you you're digging deeper. You know you're increasing. No, I'm saying you're this surface level. I know what you were saying. Deeper. You fucked it up. <laughs> no, I, I take back what I said. I acknowledge nothing. You're wrong. <laughs> Thank you to everyone over on Patreon for supporting the channel. If you do want to get three to four weeks of early access to our edited and uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. All right, let's go. Let's go. Get off me. Get the fuck off me, man. What did I do? What the fuck did I do? Oh my god, with no explanation. Oh my god, <gasps> they're making them all sick. Oh shit. They've made it contagious. They've made it contagious. Dude, that is fucking horrendous. Oh my god, I can't with the skin like that. I can't. Andy? <coughs> It's like one of their friends. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That is sickening, man. Oh, 
Oh, that is fucking. T- oh my god, I actually hate Shady as much as Cersei. You're saying sorry. I didn't know. I never signed on for any of this. Of course you did. This is your brainchild. You invented it. Oh, she's got a scapegoat as well. She's a snake. Biggest sneaky snake. That's it. Done. Wow. She just gets worse each episode, man. Haley has some remorse. She has none. Please, can I come over? Damn, I have a meeting in the city that I can't move. Go to my house. Fix yourself something to eat. That's all right. Manipulate the manipulator. You taking medication today? Yeah. Take another. You'll feel better. Yeah, there's something to it. Definitely something to it. She obviously hasn't taken it. The voice is very loud. Oh, she can use her powers without touching people. That's why she can hear the voices, I think. Because she hear their thoughts. When she comes home, I'll make her tell everyone everything. Fucking liar. Can't wait to go run back to shit. Let her go alone. She'll just stab us in the back. How can you trust her? Oh, oh damn. shit. Poor Kate. You can trust me. Stay out of our fucking heads. Then maybe we'll trust you. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Jordan, you start away. She could fuck with our heads anytime she wants to, and she's not. We have to believe she's on our side. <laughs> That's true. And you gotta stop turning into a dude when you want to make a point to us. Oh my god, I love that part. It's like your alpha mode. <laughs> when you find proof about the woods or what they've done to Sam and those other kids down there, it doesn't matter what Kate does. <laughs> and then what? Post it on Insta? <laughs> yeah, no. Unless we get it to someone they will listen to. Who? To Newman. Oh, wow. No, why? Okay. Now I'm destroying the evidence and who even remembers now? I don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're clean. No, I, I like what I'm wearing. It smells like you. Oh, he's just so wholesome. And everything you've gone through, I mean, I'd be fucked up. I mean, I'd be really fucked up. She's good for him. Do not answer the door, no matter what. Okay. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. She's kind of like a mother to him as well. Yeah. I don't want him to think he's locked up again, though. Very easy to blur those lines. What the hell? I'm gonna hide in the closet. Oh, it's probably too overwhelming for him. He was literally in a cell with nothing. I'm nervous, dude. Shady definitely has an eye on them somewhere. She's not, she's not dumb enough. What have you found? This was hidden in her drawer. All this stuff. Black goes down. Plane crash. Transoceanic flight 37. Oh, that was the plane that Maeve and Homelander, they just let everyone die, remember? I think. Shetty Lily, aged 11. Shetty Paul, aged 46. Okay, now I understand. She's on a revenge path. Oh, it was her daughter on that. Shetty. Shetty, shetty. Oh my god, thank goodness. You want me to increase the viral infection rate. Right. It was her daughter and her husband, I'm assuming. Oh, shit, that makes sense. <sighs> oh, he's gonna piss in her office. He's gonna piss in the... Oh my god. Ah! Oh, dude, I hope oh she drinks some of it. You fuck. Oh. 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 <laughs> that is dry. 
drunk as a skunk. I like drunk cut nose though, it's funny. You know some powerful people. Oh shit. She's Butcher's mentor. I know you monitor soups, the team affiliations, their whereabouts. You know where to find all of them, even those that aren't under Vort's thumb. You'll be able to neutralize them once and for all. Oh my god. So she really wants that. You need to stop what you're doing immediately. If Bot gets wind of this, the soups will crush you and everyone you care about. She doesn't feel so powerful now, though. Yeah, I agree. None of this is going to bring your husband and daughter back. Yeah, oh, she, knows. she knows. She always does. A man who works for me, one of your fellow countrymen, although I doubt you travel in the same circles, has this same rage. Yeah, he knows. We're done here. Wait. Pleasure to meet you, Dean Shetty. Go back to your school. And stay there. It's funny. Yeah, Shetty's like a, almost like a, a schoolgirl there. Like the hierarchy was just shifted. Mm -hmm. Where she's always so in control. Now she was like pleading. I'm not used to that. Ooh, who's she going to ring? Did you get all that? Keep a close eye on her. Who? Who? Oh, shit. It has to be one of the boys. Surely. I'm hoping so anyways. Smells like Emma. It's gonna spray it everywhere. That I was good today. <laughs> oh, she got tiny. Oh my god, that's so that's funny. That's pretty funny. Emma! <laughs> Give me a hand. Oh no. We're superheroes. We can do whatever we want. Oh shit. And there's that attitude, hey. That Shetty's trying to control. It's good for him to have fun, but now everyone's in his face, including Rufus. Oh no, that can't be good. Yeah, I don't know. The party's moving. You coming? Um. Oh shit, this here. ain't good. To, uh, to wait for Emma. Dude, Emma's at the party we're going to. You're such a liar. Come on. Don't oh, touch no. him. No, no, no. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I didn't do anything, but... Not yet. Fuck. I haven't talked to him. And if I did, he'd probably just go to VOD anyway, so... Damn, imagine that feeling that. that. I'm just going to tell Shetty everything. You tell me, Kate. You're the one in my fucking head. Yeah, I mean, Damn. we need to cut her a break at some point. And it's a good thing that someone as versatile and trustworthy as you has stepped up to ask the tough questions that superheroes and real Americans... What is happening to him? Yeah, what the hell is happening to him? What the... Uh, What Did he the get fuck? Infected the, virus? With the virus? Is that why? Because Shady sent him up there. What the hell? Oh no, Shady, you're playing with fire, my friend. Buckle in. We gotta get going. But if he goes in, if it's the virus. Oh shit. Oh no, man. Nah, this is so nah. Oh, how hard is that? You gotta like counter the powers. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, you'd not wanna be a paramedic in this. Oh, shit, this is dangerous. It's no time. Gotta find Newman, tell her what we know. Any chance you know a teleporter? No, but I can cause a distraction. Oh my god, freaking tail girl. You're the girl who fucking tortured Emma, right? No, 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 no. I just gave her a plat. Oh! I just gave her a plat. Oh my god, look at her jaw! That is sick. Ha <laughs> ha.
Go get involved, guys! Go get involved! Damn, go Jordan! Oh, dude, I'm not gonna lie, that punch that Jordan gave hit my soul. We all saw Homelander kill a human in broad daylight unprovoked. Is he gonna be held accountable? Remember that? Yeah. Fucking narc, you don't know shit! <laughs> We can oh my god. Some solutions here. You will not control us. Yeah, damn, dude. No, that's right, that's right, that's right. Look, people are passionate about the issue. So am I. Oh, oh shit. Oh, damn. Why is everyone so angry? Because they're trying to limit us. Take away our power. The Homelander is right. Oh, shit. Oh, no, man. This is gonna I'm end badly. Oh my god, this is too much. Wow, this went way out of control. Miss Newman, please, it's important that I speak with you. You're Marina she knows who she is. I was hoping I'd meet you. You were? Yeah, um, let's find some place we can chat. Just the two of us. Oh shit, why was she want to hold to her? Have you seen Sam? Are you fucking kidding me? No, where is he? I don't know. I, I, I mean, in this crowd somewhere. Sam. Sam. Emma. You, oh. oh, thank goodness. It's awesome being with people like us, just having fun. Okay, look, we need to get him out of yeah, here. Yeah, he now. just wants a bit of freedom, Sam. which I get. It's okay. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh he's Sam. just made some friends. <laughs> Look so tired, darling. Why don't we get you some rest? We can talk later. Yeah, okay. She's scared. They weren't helping me. They were clouding me. You talk, mm -hmm. manipulate, yep. control. 100%. That's all you've ever done to me. She made her take those pills so she can't hear her thoughts. When I lost my husband and my daughter, I lost my entire world. Oh, she's so good. I can't believe a word she says. I found something truly special again. I don't my believe powers. it. Oh, Kate, you. Oh, snake, snake, snake. Well, I feel like you are truly mine and I love you. Nah. Oh, dude, I can't believe that. Surely not. If she can hear her thoughts, it might be true. You're telling the truth. <laughs> Why do I feel like it's another manipulation? I can control my thoughts. Oh. Yeah, she was lying, dude. I yeah, she's scared that. of her mind. Those lassos and blood swords must be fucking exhausting, though. What else can you do? She doesn't know that Newman's a, a soup as well. No one knows, remember? You can sense things in blood. Use that and tell me about me. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, your... Your blood, there's compound V in it. Oh, shit. She shared that secret with her. Holy shit. Wait, she did that? Is that how she pops heads? Yes. The same way that Marie popped Rufus's penis. You don't know anything about me. Oh, yes, I do. I know that you've fought for every fucking thing you've ever got in your life. I know that you're constantly lonely. Damn. God damn. The cane's all getting swayed now. Because you grew up hearing that your powers are too dangerous, too disgusting for anyone to ever want to adopt you. Aww. Well, she went through. They were wrong about you and your powers, Marie. 
You are a very rare and exceptional girl. I really feel that from her. There's a secret lab under this school called the woods where they experiment on kids. They're infecting them with a virus that can kill soups. Oh shit. He didn't know about it. Look, you have to tell everyone what Vought is doing. Will she? I'll handle it. Oh, tell me she already knew. Once Vought stashes people like you and me inside Red River, it's fucking impossible to break out of that orphanage to institution. She's really trying to look out for her. Marie Moreau, guardian of Godolkin, is marketing, okay? And you better believe that Vault will ship her off to the adult facility if she keeps fucking up her situation. Yeah, yeah. damn, she knows the reality. The first black woman in the seven. She has real power. She's friends with the vice mm. president. That woman, mm. she can make a real difference politically, culturally. Damn, she's pushing it to get to the seven. Damn, so they're not going to expose it now then. Two paths, Marie. You have to choose. You can't have both. You can't have both. Oh, shit. She just got real. It wasn't as easy as exposing, is it? Damn it. This shit runs deeper than you think. Just doesn't end, does it? I don't know. I'm really worried about Kate. I'm here. Okay. Andre not going might be the best thing he's done. Are you okay? You're right. What happened? I'm okay. And now she'll do whatever we want. Oh, no way! No, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You don't have to do this. I love you. I know you love me. It doesn't change the fact that you're a fucking bitch. Oh, okay. She might have sided with him. I hope so. I hope so. I hope it's not an act. You're not here to study. The school is here to study you. Oh my god. That is fucked. She wants to make it more contagious. She wants more than that. Don't you? I want it to spread across the globe. And kill all of you. What oh. is happening? Holy shit. So, so all this because he lasered that Starlighter dude? No, no, no. Fucked up, not more wrong, than that. But like killing all of us seems, seems a little melodramatic. <laughs> I love it all. He took down that plane. He killed your family. I mean, I get that motivation, but the cost is huge. You all leave a path of destruction behind you. You have ruined countless so lives. So does she, though? What you did to your parents. Oh, dude. That's a sore spot, man. We have to strike first. Starting with her. Well, this is how you get the war. Shut the fuck up! Kate! Indira! Oh! It's time. <gasps> oh, fuck. Jay. Holy Jay. 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 Oh my god! Don't help. <gasps> Holy shit! You don't need to do this. Oh we my God, please. Stop her. We can't trust anybody. They'll only hurt us. This is the only way. Oh, oh no, Kate's gone the other extreme now. Oh no. And she can't do anything to help. She can't do anything, even though she knows how. Please, you have to let me save her. I'm so sorry you have to relive this. Oh my God, dude, what this is going is on? so much. Why did that freaking thing pop up now? I don't know! Do you know what you've done? Justice. Oh shit, man. Oh shit! Oh no, we're gonna lose Sam as well. Nah, there's something else. It can survive for a few days at ambient temperature, but you wanna get this test tubes into cold storage sooner than later. If this is Newman, he's screwed. Daddy's yeah, screwed. He's dead. Speaking out against Vought takes a lot of courage, Dr. Cardosa. 
Show us how to play it. You and I, we have the same goals, right? Compassionate. I don't control. think so, love. That is such a great phrase. Do you mind if I steal that? Compassionate control, this guy. You get me and my family out before things take a turn. Witness protection, right? Yeah. Yeah, don't worry, you're out. Boom, boom. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Oh. Yeah, must be a little drop. Oh. Oh, oh my god. And how her eyes go like that is creepy still. Oh, she just flicked these bits off her. Eh. Off with head. <laughs> oh, the song's so fitting. Dance to me, dance. All right, I don't know why that stupid little preview for the next episode popped up. That's annoying. It was that's just a bit of a glitch. So, bit annoying. Excuse that in the last part. But holy shit, man! I I now really see how they're gonna go for a second season because if, if they went another route, they could have wrapped that up in a season. But this show's gotten a whole lot bigger. Yeah. Oh, you. They're you gonna can... intertwine now. When the, yeah. And you can see how he's tying it to season four because now you've got the superhero supremacy group growing. All, all of these soups are going to follow Homelander. Then you're going to have some soups that are like more like Starlight, sort of we should coexist, but this genocide is in the way. And you see how it's all just going to get fucked up. Like, oh Holy man. Holy shit. This is bigger than the boys. Oh. And now Newman's got the virus. Bigger than the boys? As in our boys. Like, because we started this adventure off, like, barring Gen V, we started this adventure off with Butcher. Yeah. And then his crew and stuff. And really, he wanted to find his wife. And it's just grown from there. Like, yeah, it's like just the expanded. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. thought the boys was heading there last season anyway. Yeah, I meant literally, like, the people, the right, boys, yeah. not no, the it, show. It complements each other. Like, it's essentially yeah. going in a direction where it really is a fight for who's going to survive. Is it going to be yeah. a humans or superheroes because so far you it is a weird point where humans have still controlled everything while superheroes were their puppets even though they were so powerful but isn't it crazy humans created superheroes obviously and now they can't control them and now you can't control them and then you want to just like i get it oh my god wow. but but then you get both sides because then they're causing complete destruction. So are you, and it's just like, it's fucked. It's just fucked. Yeah. And I mean, I do like the tie and I like how Shetty's husband and daughter yeah. tied into something so small at that ship. It, it came back like that sort of gave birth the to airplane. someone like her. So she's, she's more recent then. She's like, I don't know how long has she been around because they only died more recently. Yeah. Right. Or, uh, no, I, I, I think, I don't know if they're the same plane that we saw in The Boys. It might be a plane that was many years ago. I don't know. Either way, Homelander took a yes, plane down. Correct. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, no, correct. Um, I wish with Newman, because you made some good points. You're like, oh, shit. Like, it was the same way that, you know, Marie exploded Rufus's penis. Like, I wish we picked up on that earlier. I just forgot about Newman, like, and her yeah, popping. Yeah, but in fairness, it's not even forgot. It's also very well played by yeah. the boys because remember we found that other escapee who could literally pop heads mm. and Newman, like even that writing, when you think about it, is genius because Newman's also popping heads and you're like, oh, they've got the same power. You don't even consider it's to do with the blood. You just think she yeah. always kills everyone by the same method. Yeah. As obviously her signature move. Yeah. But then that's when she cut her open. I was confused. I'm like, is Marie doing that? But then Marie didn't no. watch she was in control. Yeah. And then it was like, holy shit, that's how she's popping the head. So the Crazy. way that tied into this, I don't know whether they planned for it or whether it was an afterthought, but it was genius. Yeah, 100%. And that does make you wonder though, because look how strong Newman is and she hasn't tried to kill Homelander. If she thought she could, she potentially would. Yeah, maybe, but it also may not be the right way to go about it. It's just probably like he's going to be a martyr at this point. Maybe, unless she's playing him. But remember when he was threatening her and, you know, mm. I don't know. I'm not sure because the one weakness for Homeland that could be killing him on the inside. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Oh, my God. And then Newman was also, remember, like the, I think, adopted daughter of 
Stan Edgar. Yeah. And he's currently locked away. But I, 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 he's not the kind of guy that will be locked away without a plan. So I feel like in season four of The Boys, I'm expecting him to come back. She's about to get fucking hectic. Dude, the world building's gone mental at the moment. She's about to get hectic. So... I think that scene with Kate and Shetty, I think Kate could hear the thoughts and lied that she was telling the truth just so that Shetty could trust her to touch her. Yeah, maybe. And then, yeah, I yeah. think I think that's what happens. And she was probably, probably making up her mind, but she knows Shetty did love her, but she couldn't excuse her overall agenda was to kill everyone. Yeah, you know? yeah. Damn, dude, it's weird that Shetty went out like that. Yeah. I didn't expect her to... She just seemed so... I mean, I guess similar scenario with Stillwell, isn't it? But yeah. you just think they're one step ahead and they've really got it together. And, and they do until they don't. Yeah, wow. This episode was a different side of Shetty because it was the first time you really saw her as the underdog. She was really like back to a corner. You could just see her anxiety and, you know, she was like, holy shit. We losing, saw losing her control. as the underdog? Shetty? Yeah. Yeah. This episode? Yeah, when she went to talk to... Yes. The underdog is like a good thing. I well, didn't see her as an underdog. No, an underdog as in, but not one, not a successful underdog. Underdog as in, she just wasn't the one at, at the top in this episode. She wasn't in control. She was making all the power moves. She was like desperate. <laughs> yeah, that's not an underdog. <laughs> oh my God, here we go. It's not. Anyways, I understand what, what I you're saying. I understand what you're saying, yes. It was weird seeing her in a vulnerable position because she's just been like grabbing Sam by the hair and... You know, this, that, and whatever. But more so, she's been like scared, scary, kind of calm. Yeah. Co- collected. <laughs> like psychotic. <laughs> yeah, always been able to get one ahead of every everyone that got in her way. I mean, she was even playing Vault in her own agenda. That's a yeah. big move. Yeah. Crazy. I think even then, I don't know what Rufus's plan was. Like, does he know who Sam is? Like, I'm not sure what's going on there, but regardless of what the initial like contact was... Sam was easily influenced because he's been locked up for so long and Makes he's just like, oh, him, yeah. you know, we're, we're getting suppressed and stuff, which in his case he was. Like, it was disgusting. Now they're on opposite sides. Like, Sam's not really on the good side in yeah. his thought process. I think we're going to lose him next episode. Oh, God. It just, it just makes sense. He's been hurt so much by humans that... Which I get. Of course, and, he, and Emma's sort of always trying to contain him. He wants to be free. Yeah. Ironically, with the woods shut down now, he could actually be free. But he's probably going to go join the soups. And oh my God, dude, I don't know. It's going to be mental. Like it's really heading towards like a massive war or something yeah. next season. Yeah. So much is happening though. Like what happened to polarity? Like I wonder if that's a virus or if it's uh, like... It Stress could... induced. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that's right. But that's the something fact that Shetty wanted him on the program like i don't know i don't know like there's just so much shit going on so much that we don't know i'm not gonna lie it's kind of creepy at the end and kate's like all right it's time like you're just so like calm and collected like okay it's time for you to kill yourself like oh man i don't know <laughs> this show definitely creeps me out sometimes yeah. the, the, the it's for, it can be very sadistic and creepy yeah so those pills were making her not be able to hear thoughts he was weakening expressing her power and also, she said it was like blurring her judgment. Like, it just yeah. wasn't giving her clear. She needed that. But it's almost... Yeah, I don't even know if it's better. It's, it's almost clear. too late, though. Like, beca- because she used that to her advantage, Shetty. She manipulated her. So, it's not like it's... Yeah. She made her in bed, essentially. I get it. Like, soups killed your family and you have that hurt. I don't know what I would do. I, I don't think I would go on a killing spree, but I would be very hurt. Yeah, shit. And you see why Newman's important because everyone believes her to be a human, but working with Vought. So she gets a bit of both sides mm. and humans might reach out to her from their point of view. And then soups might reach out to her from, from their point of view. And she sort of can yeah. be half, half in both. But a lot of soups uh, aren't really liking her at this point. At, at least the ones that could Because they don't know she's a soup. But I think she's okay mm. with that. Because... Yeah. Like, she's not really in danger. She can pop their heads, too, a yeah. lot of them. So she's just playing them all the political spectrum. And I feel like she'll maybe maybe reveal her true intention at some point. Mm, that could be interesting. But she also handed in Edgar, right? Mm. Now, I wonder whether that's whether he's orchestrated that a little bit. I don't know. 
I, I think I think about Gus a little bit as well when I'm thinking about it. But I, regardless, he seems like such a... Gus from Breaking Bad. Yes. For those All right. of you who don't know. People will know. Those who know will know. No explanation <laughs> needed. He was so ahead of the game and so well was going on that I just... I find it hard to believe that he just went to jail and he didn't see anything coming. Like, I must have a power play somewhere here. That's potentially, coming. potentially. But I feel like when, sometimes when you're that powerful as well, you underestimate the power you have over other people emotionally. Yeah, so that is true. Maybe. Either way, I just feel like next episode is going to be fucking mental. Next episode's actually quite short. I think it's only right. like 33 minutes or something. So wow. you'd think the last episode will be a lot bigger. I mean, granted, this show wastes no time. Like every scene yeah. has value in it. I mean, even the fact that, you know, Newman's pushing or like encouraging Marie to get into the seven. Like she might be in the boys maybe next season or the season yeah. after. Like you don't know. Yeah, because there's a vacant position with Starlight. I don't know. I feel like Marie would side with Starlight if they got to meet at some point. Mm-hmm. But who knows? Holy shit. Everything's gone mental. It keeps getting crazier every episode. I know. You just don't know how it's going to happen and then it tops itself. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the reaction. And if you do want to get early access to our reactions or watch them in their uncut form, we'll leave a link to our Patreon <laughs> in the description. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you on our next reaction. See you guys.